So congratulations for doing that awesome fast. Maybe it was 24 hours, maybe it was only 16 hours, but you should pat yourself on the back for doing a wonderful job. But it's so important to break your fast the right way. And in this video, I'm going to give you four ways that you can break your fast without messing it up. So don't do it. Stay tuned. How you break your fast is very important as how you've been doing the fast. So I'm going to give you reason number one, break your fast with a low carb snack. Something like broth or a different type of soup that's just liquid and it's very low carbs. I do a soup that's uh, very low carbs, which is um, my roasted pepper tomato soup, which you've seen in past videos. So something like that, start out small as a snack instead of looking at it as a full on meal for breaking your fast. Number two, have your first meal after an hour after you had the initial snack. So we started out maybe with broth or some light soup or something liquid. And uh, when you go into your next hour after breaking the fast, then you want to ease into doing a nice meal at that point. And that's pretty simple for that reason. Number three, resist, resist, resist the urge to eat a huge meal. You want to keep the calories restricted at a certain level where you're not going extreme right out the gate. So you don't want to intake so much that you normally would on a regular day, a non-fasting day. So when you go into it, you can ruin all the benefits that you just gain by doing that fast in the first place. Keep in mind, you want to start slow and maybe just have a small meal, like having some fish and maybe some vegetables and keep the portion control down. So for me with fish, I'm gonna do about four ounces, maybe five, basically the size of a fist. And if you keep it at that level and look at your protein that way, uh, that will keep everything in checked on the calories. Keep your meal small and don't go overboard and resist the urge of overeating. And number four, you don't deserve a big award by eating a lot of junk food out the gate. Remember, you wanna to stick to a low carbs and you wanna have your fats and proteins like we just discussed in past videos. And you don't wanna go straight to rolling into McDonald's or someplace and getting you a Big Mac or a big cheeseburger of some sort. You wanna ease in to that meal in, in a way that won't upset your digestive system. So remember, you're pretty sensitive right now because all your senses are heightened and that could totally derail the benefits that you just gained by starting your fast. And I know this was a short video, but I just want to give you those small little reminders of how you can break your fast without screwing it up, people. <laughs> And those are the reasons why I want to give you a little bit of tips on how you can break your fast without messing up all the benefits that you just gained. And don't forget, caregiving begins with you. And I thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye.